So what are the advantages and disadvantages of a four-stroke? So the disadvantages and advantages of a four-stroke, let's just start with the disadvantages of a four-stroke. The disadvantages of a four-stroke are that its power to weight ratio is obviously less than that of a two-stroke. Yet again, on a four-stroke, you have an advantage, which means you don't, do not have to mix oil into your gas, for one, because you're not using it in, in the crankcase for lubrication as well. Second, uh, the disadvantages that you have, the piston has to actually move in a four-stroke, as you can see from our animation now here. The piston actually has to move once, twice, to complete one whole combustion cycle. All in right. a two-stroke, you only have to move once, and you have a combustion cycle. So you actually, you're using the momentum of your flywheel in a four-stroke engine to actually move the piston through one whole cycle until yet again you have a combustion occurring. So you're actually losing, due to friction, energy while having to push the piston so can you, can you explain to me uh, how the, the fuel comes in and what? Well, in what a regular four-stroke, you just have fuel coming in for the intake manifold. Then you have the intake valve opening, okay, during the induction of the fuel-air mixture into the combustion chamber. The piston's moving down, it sucks in fuel, then the piston comes back up, compresses the fuel, you have a spark plug located at the top, it ignites it, you have the power stroke, the pistons force back down, okay, and the momentum of the flywheel pushes the piston back up, the exhaust valve opens, and the unburned, burned gases are being pushed out of the combustion chamber. And in a four-stroke, obviously, you have more burned gases than unburned gases, vice versa, to the two-stroke engine.